So my name is Karen. I'm the CEO and co-founder of a computer vision AI company called Fima. So uh, I think Johan, it's very kind of up your alley <laughs> in, in terms of uh, computer vision and so forth. Um, and what we do, we take in real time camera feeds and turn that into actionable data and actionable insights. Um, it's a completely self set up uh, product, uh, self service SaaS business. So um, actually if Nikki allows me, I can probably, I would love to share my screen. I think I can. Yeah, and I'll true. actually just do a demo because it's so much better to show what we do or, or and how we work by actually showing you how we work. Okay, Tessim. So um, basically, you would uh, we have two modes at the moment: real time uh, camera feeds and parking lots. So parking is a the frame rate's a bit less frequent, but. Um, you can set everything up yourself. So the ethos behind the company is that AI shouldn't be something that's expensive and that you need a data science team for. Um, there shouldn't be any expensive setup fees or any of that. And you should just be able to run it yourself. So I will add a tracking camera. It just takes you through a very simple wizard. Um, you can write list our IP or if camera streams are available publicly, it's even easier. And for demo purposes, we usually use these Tallinn City Council um, publicly available camera feeds. I'm just going to take one from the web, uh, click Let's Guard It, and, and let's put this in here. So I'll name it after Nikki. Let's call it Nikki's Cam. Uh, click Continue. We put the camera stream in, and then we test the connection. So that's when the system basically provisions everything in the back end, the algorithms, and so forth. We get the stream through, click Continue, and we are live. And now we can start adding in something we call virtual sensors. So you can draw a line anywhere on the camera field of view. And this line then becomes a sensor counter. So in this case, I'm gonna put it here. That's how to see. Uh, let's do this as the old town turn off because that's what it is. Then we can set up a bus lane here. Uh, we can set up, I don't know, another lane here lane two, um, and so forth and so on. We can do another one here uh, or for pedestrian crossings, another one here. And um, the sensor counters understand the object that moved across. So is it a car, bus, truck, van, tractor, uh, motorbike, in which direction it went? What's the trajectory of movement? And we have recently trained in demographic detection as well. So uh, male, female, and just working on age as well. And everything's GDPR compliant. We don't use uh, face detection to do any of this stuff. So I click done and that's it. That was all it took to basically set up a camera based sensor and start getting um, data immediately. So we work with shopping centers. I'll just show you one from here. They're, well, most of them are closed. Um, so there is data available because this one is being used as a thoroughfare. So today we can see that 3,476 people have um, gone in and out. And um, we've disabled the, the camera preview for now, but um, this is the kind of uh, statistics you're able to get um, out of the system. So we work with public sector organizations, urban planners, um, and spent 2020 basically testing this technology out to see where we can deliver uh, time to value in the quickest way. Um, and this has been around the uh, retail, but a, a lot of kind of camera resellers see this as, um, as value uh, to them and want to work with us. So we have, we're getting reseller contracts as well. So um, that's essentially what we do. Um, we are based out of Tallinn. We also have a subsidiary in London. Um, we are about to have a pretty, pretty big uh, pilot project go live in the UK in central London across 2.2 square kilometers, actually. So we're going to go live with that on the first week of May. Um, the contracts are still being signed up. So um, the public announcement will be made in, in about two weeks time from now. Uh, but yeah, everything, like I said, is GDPR compliant and um, and even our uh, algorithms are trained on um, defaced and anonymized data. So nothing basically goes live 
unless Estonian Data Protection Inspectorate has said it can go live. And we've been working with patent uh, lawyers for the past half, the, half of the year and uh, have just submitted our first uh, patent application as well for these virtual um, counters.